From the start, we aimed at closing loopholes and creating precise definitions and obligations in order for companies that develop this cyber surveillance to not be able to so easily circumvent the current regulation. I am sure that, depending on who you ask, there will be very varying assessments of how much this reform fulfills our criteria. I'm looking forward to all the different stakeholders' assessments today. I believe it's a promising start with all its flaws, which I'm not shy to point out. It shows that the European Union is on the right track and that human rights are becoming as important as they should be. My political ambitions for the European export controls are not nearly fulfilled with the recast. For the 14th year in a row, democracies and freedoms are on the decline. Digital authoritarianism is booming around the globe and we supply the technology. Leaked documents, investigative reports and countless witness accounts now prove that China is actively committing mass torture and genocide of millions of Uyghurs. European companies sell their surveillance ware to China as if they are trading with New Zealand. When exposed and questioned, they deny knowing anything and do not fear any consequences.